Last week, I made it to the annual Clark County Parade of Homes, which is a builder showcase put on by the Building Industry Association of Clark County. It's an event that I've gone to over the years. I love going every year. I love seeing the new trends. This year didn't disappoint. I've done videos on this event for the past two years, so I'm gonna put links in the description and here on the screen if you wanna check out the 2021 and the 2022 Parade of Homes. Thank you for watching. I make a new video every week on life and real estate in Southwest Washington. I was raised in Camas. I have spent most of my life in Clark County and I love helping people learn about this awesome area. If you like my videos, please take a moment to subscribe and turn the bell on for notifications. I am a realtor, so if you are looking at homes in the area, feel free to give me a call. This year's parade is at Ashbury, which is a new community in Philida. I've done a video on this one as well, linked above. There were four builders participating, Cascade West, Marinella Homes, Kingston Homes, and Puella Homes. The event was sponsored by Grow Landscaping. I have personally used this landscape, landscaping company for design and install, and I highly recommend them. They are not cheap, but they're really, really good at what they do. I've also set up a search for listings in this neighborhood. If you want to check it out, the link is in the description down below. And brace yourselves because prices do start at about $1,300,000. In my parade videos in the past, I have taken video of the homes as I go. This year I didn't do that because I'm tired of seeing random strangers in the middle of the videos. So this year I did pictures of each of the houses. Um, so it's going to be a little bit different as you're watching it versus the other year the other videos from a couple of years ago. Let's check out the Prada Homes. I love this delivery system for packages. This first house was very modern with very, very high ceilings. We saw this paneling in every house, but I really like how they backlit it in this house. This home was very mid-century modern and check out those long pendants. I forget what I was trying to show you in this video, but it's a very modern and bright entry hydroponic plants in your pantry. Here's the label if you want to get one for yourself. This house is kosher, but I personally just love the two dishwasher and two sink idea. More wine storage than I would ever need. Interesting panel accent wall. This toilet had a plug-in and I think it is heated. It might be a bidet accent wall color on the ceiling. I thought this was a cute little bench nook area. My favorite thing about this covered patio is the giant screen that comes down. Fancy exterior light with a real flame. Looks like a concrete tub to me, but I wasn't sure. Accent lighting in the primary shower. This paneling was everywhere. This is a picture of the light in the entrance and I thought it was super cool. Oh, it's the vacuum. It's dirty underwear in there. And it goes to the laundry room. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's a laundry jet. I love it. To rinse it out. Yeah, like cups or House number two by Cascade West. I'm in love with these floors. I love the office with the Murphy bed. I adore everything about this hallway ceiling. The asymmetrical lights on either side of the bed caught my eye. Love the built-in shelf in the tile wall above the tub. I appreciated how natural and peaceful this bathroom felt. This was the house of high ceilings, beams, and windows. Asymmetrical, and I like it. More high ceilings, beams, and windows. Some people in my group thought it was kind of 70s. Love the gas table fireplace and the turf. They were not messing around with this outdoor kitchen. I think I was just trying to show you the turf here. I really liked how they had seating at the island in a way you wouldn't expect. I'm a big fan of the black composite sink. Some of the selections in this house were very bold, including this built-in black cabinetry, which was contrasted with very natural colors. A walk-in pantry is a must for any parade home. 
I'm actually not a huge fan of stacked laundry units. I love this large format tile in the herringbone pattern. This is the loft at the top of the stairs, asymmetrical. This built-in desk was so cute. I like this slab backsplash and wanted to point out the fancy mirror. Would love to hear your take on this tile in the comments. I feel like it's a love it or hate it kind of thing. View of Mount St. Helens off of the back and there's another mountain, but I didn't know which one it was. This room was so pretty with all those windows. House number three, Kingston Homes. I absolutely adore this water feature and I want one at my house. They went high contrast and bold in this house and I don't think it's for everyone. I'm just showing you the floors because I thought they were pretty. Not sure you can tell, but this was the biggest island I have ever seen. I really like the wood accent in the tray ceiling. Okay, this gives you a better view of that enormous island. I do like those stacked windows. Their outdoor living area was awesome. I really liked these built-in ceiling heaters. They had the fire, they had the water, they had the big open doors. I feel like I just was trying to catch all of it in this video and couldn't quite do it. This is a much better picture to show the space. This builder brought their A-game with the water features. They also brought their A-game with the fire features. wall o wine two dishwashers again and if you've got a lot of kids this is a must beautiful pantry but i honestly appreciate open shelving in pantries okay and this is a great guest suite my favorite thing in this room is the wood trim in the tray what do you think of this open shower i feel like this is another love it or hate it very, very modern bathroom. This bedroom with the built-in bench was super cute. I love all of this. I just personally cannot handle front load washers. This was a great idea for a drying rack and it just slides back for storage. Here's the brand in case you want one for your house. This is my favorite bathroom of the whole parade. Check out the texture of the sink. This was the only parade house with a movie theater. This is my second favorite bathroom of the parade. Last house of the parade, Quail Homes. Definitely the most practical house. I like this cutting board built into the sink. They get an A plus for the pantry. I'm not sure what this area is for in the laundry room. Is it a desk? And here is the multi-gen living or ADU. I'll admit I was a little underwhelmed by the last house as evidenced by my lack of pictures. It felt pretty normal and at the parade I've come to expect the design to be like over the top. So while it was a beautiful home, I didn't really think that it was a parade home. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. If you went to the parade, I would love to hear in comments what your favorite feature was that you saw. There was a lot of design elements in there that I'm not sure I personally would use them. Lots of bold choices, lots of high contrast. I'd love to hear your take on it and if this is something that you loved or if there's something that you absolutely hated. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.